to be had for sure. But I'm going to keep quiet about those. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, dream. I've been an artist since birth. My father's an artist. He trained me and started doing like theater makeup, my gosh, about 10 years ago. And uh, I was asked to be brought in to do a film to do special effects, and I, I, I loved it. I did it once, and I was hooked immediately. So I went from doing the theater makeup to, to actual being on film sets. And that's how I also got into acting. So one of the film sets I was on, they needed an extra girl to deliver a couple lines that did not show up, so they threw me in her dress. So I was literally thrown into acting, and again, I've been you know uh, sucked in ever since, and I love it. I'm also a graphic designer. I've been a graphic designer for 18 years. I could quit film right now and live very, very comfortably just doing that. But filming is my passion and modeling is my passion. And it's something that I want to continue. I just want it to be financially lucrative to, um, to live comfortably. A lot of people deal with this, especially in the independent film industry. And a lot of times the budgets and the fundings is, is not behind the films the way that it should be. So a lot of times... If you get paid on the back end, you have to wait how long for the film to be released. And here you have these artists, these amazing producers, directors, actors, who are either getting paid very little or just doing it for, for credits. And that to me, and that's not even really me personally, but a lot of people that I see, and I think that's you know a, a big problem in our industry today is the lack of funding to pay the talent. Oh gosh, funny circumstance. When we decided to host the cast and crew for the Dark Military because the Pope was in Philadelphia. We, are, we live in southern New Jersey, so practically everybody lived in Philadelphia. Bridges were closed, so we had to house everybody to make sure that the whole cast and crew was available at all times. We had tents and trailers and, and people on, on couches and all over. And at one point, it was probably about 130 people. We live on a big farm, but it's still pretty crazy when you're looking around and you're like, I don't even know these people. That was pretty funny because when you bring all of those types of people together from all different walks of life, you definitely get some you know, d interesting things that happen, especially it's like grown-up sleepovers. So um, some not everybody <laughs> behaves. Hi, babe. Eric babes. Um, so yeah, there was definitely a lot of laughs to be had for sure. But I'm going to keep quiet about those. I'm not saying a word. To work on a Tim Burton film. That is my dream role. I love acting. I model as well. So being in front of the camera is something I'm totally open to. I love it. But to do special effects on a Tim Burton film with him, who's also my idol, would just be amazing. It'd be a life-changing experience. My inspiration, definitely my family because they're so supportive. My husband, Eric Foxhill, uh, he's, he does uh, stunt and fight choreography. He's an actor as well. So to be able to, to actually work every day with your, with your husband and, and you know, to collaborate and make something happen like that together is, is pretty amazing. And we bring our two children into it too, especially my daughter, Lara. She loves to act. Um, she loves to do prop and set design with me, which is great. My dad is a huge inspiration because he's a fantastic artist, and I really do have him to thank for like paving my way in my art career. I've been, I could hold a paintbrush before a pencil, and I have him to thank for that. And my mom also, because she's awesome. In whatever craft that you're doing, absolutely try your hardest. Always set aside room for mistakes because nobody is perfect and you will make mistakes. You're gonna make many mistakes. So take those mistakes and learn them to help you grow in your career and whatever you're doing in film. Don't be too hard on yourself and have fun, have fun. If it ever becomes work, if it ever becomes a job and something that you don't enjoy or tremendously stressful, then this isn't the career for you because it can be stressful. It definitely can, but do it wholeheartedly as long as your heart's in it and this is something you really want to do. Success means feeling good about my accomplishments and if there's like one person or one community or anybody that's even remotely slightly impacted by me and what I have done and what I've created, then to me that is, um, that is the ultimate success. And always keep that level of, of humility no matter how big you get in your career.